In today's video, we will talk about the differences between custom brokers and freight forwarders and how to choose the right one for your business. Hi, my name is Nick and I am part of the Sourcing Monster team. Please do show your love and support by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, commenting down below, and sharing. And all links will be listed down below. Let's start. E-commerce is a booming industry where more and more people are starting their own online stores. Many new sellers are just starting to learn about logistics and don't know the difference between freight forwarders and brokers. Some even think that they are the same thing. These are two different roles but both hold important processes in logistics with strict rules and laws to adhere to. A lack of understanding of the two can lead to delays in product sourcing and the seller overspending. To avoid this issue, sellers should learn how each service works so they can choose the right one to work with for the long term. By the way, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, simply search Sourcing Monster on Facebook or click the link down below. Feel free to share the group with others so you can engage with us. We post exclusive information, lives, and many more. Another thing, if you need to ship goods from China to Amazon FBA or Amazon warehouses and import them, click the link down below and get $100 off for new customers. Freight Forwarder versus Freight Broker A freight forwarder arranges the transportation of freight from source to destination. They handle the negotiations with customs and port authorities, as well as transfer the freight to the companies that physically transport the goods to their destination. Some freight forwarders also offer warehousing services if you want them to keep your products at their facility until it's sold or ready for distribution. They even handle the dreaded paperwork that you wouldn't want to do yourself. For example, if you are an e-commerce seller who sources products from China, the freight forwarder will ensure that your products from the factory get properly approved through customs and port authorities. Then, they will transfer the freight over to the shipping company that transport your freight across country. A freight broker, on the other hand, is a third party that matches shippers with carriers. Brokers are not physically responsible for the execution of logistics, but they do work closely with their clients to ensure smooth transactions. They are able to help negotiate in situations that weren't predicted, such as the need to ship more products than originally expected. One downside to using a broker is that they are not physically present with your freight to fully understand the situation when something goes wrong. They will be passing along to you the information that was passed on to them, which is less reliable and creates communication delays. An example is when you suddenly decide you want your product shipped from China to Los Angeles in three weeks and couldn't arrange this earlier with a freight forwarder, a broker can find carriers who have excess capacity during this time. This broker then finds the best deals for you, negotiates rates with carriers, and make sure that all agreements are in order. What can go wrong and how to avoid it? It's important to understand the differences so you can choose who to work with. Accidents can happen during the logistics and transportation process. And although both freight brokers and freight forwarders have a legal liability, it is most often the freight forwarders who take more responsibility for it. This is because a transaction with a freight forwarder includes liability insurance most of the time but it is up to you to research the ones that do for sure. Brokers never take physical possession of your freight, hence the reduced responsibility. Headaches can be avoided by doing heavy research beforehand on several freight forwarders and asking them all the necessary questions before hiring a service. Be sure to read through contracts carefully. Legal jargon can get intimidating, but consulting with an attorney, if needed, may save time later on down the road. By choosing the right broker and freight forwarder is crucial for your business. Negotiating with customs is heavy work and can even get intimidating. It's best to leave it up to the experts. They are able to establish personal relationships with everyone involved in the transactions and establish trust. 
they are also able to save their clients a significant amount of time, money, and stress from handling it all on their own. Find a broker and freight forwarder that you can build a long-term relationship with so they can be proactive in solving any problems that may arise during the transactions. The more your business grows, the more complicated logistics will become. To know more about logistics, check out our video about Amazon FBA Inventory Management, Supply Chain, and Logistics, and this will be linked down below. It's important that you do thorough research before hiring either a freight broker or a freight forwarder so you know exactly what they offer and how it will affect your business in terms of liability or reliability issues down the line. When logistics are handled correctly by reliable companies, businesses have more time available for other things which makes life easier and emphasizes why owning your own business is much more fun than a 9 to 5. Please do share this video with other people that might benefit from this video. It will help us grow the channel and we will really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.